Hello YouTube, welcome to this tutorial. Um, in this video, I would like to show you how to set up a centralized um, logging uh, in CentOS 7. I've got three virtual machines running. Um, maybe I can use the first two virtual machines, send me M01 and O2. So let's log into both of those servers. Okay, here I will be using SendVM01, the one on the top, as the um, remote log server and SendVM02 as a client. Um, which is going to forward all the logs to SendVM01. So before configuring the client to send the logs to the server, we need to configure the server to um, get ready for uh, getting the logs. Maybe we need to um, tell it to listen on a specific port um, for connections from remote clients. So our syslog is the service that does this. So we need to edit uh, the rsys log d sorry the rsys log dot config file in slash etc directory and if you do next at minus nltp you don't see anything different than a standard um, as such and post fix okay so let's um, edit the etcrc rsys log dot conf So you can either listen on UDP connection or TCP connection. I'm going to go with the, uh, the TCP connection. So basically you just need to uncomment these two lines, save and quit, restart RSYS log. That's it. And now if you do net stats, you can see um, 514, the RSYS log D, it's running on port 514. But we need to open the port on the firewall so that remote clients can um, send their logs on this port. Reload the firewall configuration to take effect immediately. Cool. That's all we wanted to do on the server. So now, in the client, send me a mode two. We need to edit the same file. And go to the end of the file. And add this line. So you've already got an example here. So basically, I want to send all logs from this server so star dot star I'm going to send it via TCP connection so I need double at symbol if you're using UDP just use one at symbol and uh, you can either use the IP address of the remote log server or the DNS name of it um, as I've got the DNS name resolution working I'm gonna go with the uh, DNS name of the server which is send vm01 colon we are sending logs to the port 514 on that server. Restart our syslog service. So before I do this, I'm going to tail and see what's happening on the um, var log messages file on the server. So this is when we restarted our syslog after we made some configuration changes on SendVM01. So now we are going to um, restart our syslog on the client. Let's see what happens. As you can see, in the file var log messages on SendVM01, we get the entries for SendVM02. That's because we've just configured SendVM02 to, to send the logs to SendVM01. Okay, that's a basic setting. So what we want to do is to have a separate directory structure where 
we collect all logs from the remote clients and don't mess up with the um, uh, SendVMO1 localhost logs. So, cd to var log and nothing in there. We need to edit rsyslog.conf file again. So what we are trying to do here is tell rsyslog to um, look for remote logs. So when it sees a remote log, it need to um, put it in a separate directory. And if it's going to be the local, and if it's a local host log, logs from the um, SendVMO1 machine itself, it's not going to apply this, and it will log uh, by default uh, to the default files. So I'm going to create a template and give this a name. Um, for example, remote logs testing. And where do you want to store logs um, coming from the remote clients? War log. I'm going to have a separate directory, remote hosts. And I need to log um, in separate directories for each of the um, remote clients. So RSS log D supports some variables. So I'm going to use one of those variables, which is called host name. So that folder will be created under remote hosts uh, directory. And I'm also going to use another variable now dot log so this will create um, a log file named like uh, today's date dot log so basically for each of those hosts I'll have a separate directory for each of the remote clients that are sending logs to uh, this server I'll be having a separate directory under remote hosts directory and I'll have a log per day so each and every day I'll be having a new log so it makes us easy to um, look for something easily and this is not enough we also need to do an if condition if I'm gonna use another variable here from host dash IP I'm looking for the from host IP IP address in the log line and apply this rule only if it's not equal to the local host then the template name and finally do this if you don't do this it will get logged twice one within the remote host host name um, log file and uh, the other one will be written by default to the um, var log messages so we don't want to do that and ampersand space stop tells us stop processing uh, the rule once you applied the um, remote logs testing template if it matches this condition and restart system CTL service sorry restart the RSS log service okay so if you do ls we don't see any directory named remote host so now let's try to do send a log to send vmo one using the uh, logger command minus t is for tagging uh, it's like an application name or process that's sending the logs so in our case let's say testing and send some random text or maybe date so you send the log to send vmo one in usual case it will end up in war log messages we don't see that here because you have now got a new rule um, to log it in a different directory if you do ls now you can see the remote hosts directory cd into remote hosts directory and you can see a folder a directory um, for this client send me a mode 2 and you've got a um, log with today's date in it so if we do tail minus f and the log file so this is the log that we sent from um, testing and uh, from send me a mode so let's do that again yeah that's working
so you can do many different things if you uh, do a man or syslog.conf you should see um, what variables you can use so basically you can um, so now we've got everything sent from sendvmo to stored in a single file um, today.log under remote host um, slash sendvmo2 maybe you can um, configure the rsys log d to um, log um, uh, in a different file based on what application is trying to log so for example in sendvmo2 you can uh, um, you have the var log secure um, for the um, ssh daemon so you can um, configure it differently so that each program can um, send logs to a different file in sendvmo1 let's see if we can find uh, any program any variables property based filters are unique to the allow filter on any property like host names, log and message so there are lots of things you can do here I don't know if you can yeah this is one such option dollar template which we did it's something different so <coughs> excuse me so here you've got the um, host name I'm just seeing uh, if it lists all the properties so host name is a property syslog tag is a property message is a property you should be able to find it somewhere okay anyway i'll leave that with you and that is it i wanted to show you and thanks for watching bye